All right. Playing Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Pandora. Sorry, something went wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. I Google play Mozart. Playing Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Pandora. Sorry, something went wrong. When you're ready, hey give Google, it another try. Go fuck yourself. I hear you. To report a problem, hey send Google, feedback. shut up.
Sebastian the Mermaid said, Oh, Mrs. J. the Mermaid! Hello! The show? Hello, Mrs. J. the Mermaid said, A new hat! Oh! Countryman said, Yeah, too. The first class of the class. Jay the Mermaid said, Hi there, countryman. Here we go, countryman is in the house. Hello. Countryman said, Hello, hi, Mrs. Jay. Good to see you. Countryman said, I got to get a glass and wipe for this one. You back in a sec. MRSJ the mermaid said, Silly voice, Mr. G. Long. Hello! Go you my one too. The show was about to begin. Hello!
Welcome to my class. Yay! Yes, 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 yes. MRSJ the mermaid said, Yay, class is in session, everyone. Hi, Mr. G. Hey, Mrs. J. How is everybody? Hey, Google. Hey, Google, play uh, Mozart, please. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oh, everybody's Country having a wonderful man. day. Hello, Countryman. Hey, Woody, party one. Party one, 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 one of the students in the class, um, a, a very helpful student, countryman, um, actually has a lot of experience about Vermont, uh, knows a little bit about Vermont, and actually uh, supplied a, a really nice uh, PowerPoint for today's Vermont lecture. So we we'll really appreciate, uh, give everybody, give a welcome or applause to countryman uh, who's going to help uh, you know, with today's lecture about Vermont. I also did some DDs and due diligence and I did some uh, the my own research. Said, clap, clap, clap. Clap, 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 just like it's the Olympics, Country right? Country man said, ask me anything too. He'll try my best to answer long. Okay, yeah, so you heard in class, if anybody had any, any questions about the great state of Vermont, also known as the Green Mountain State, um, also known as the ski capital of the East, um, Vermont, uh, any of you have any questions, uh, Countryman or myself, uh, uh, Countryman uh, more in particular would be uh, more than willing to answer 
uh, and is quite knowledgeable about the state of Vermont. So um, let's start off, uh, just, I'll just talk a little bit about it. And I did uh, prepare a presentation, a slideshow for you guys. Uh, like I said, uh, Countryman uh, supplied a PowerPoint. Now I wasn't able to uh, upload the PowerPoint to our camera system here in Mr. G's classroom. Uh, but I do want to share that Vermont PowerPoint with you guys. So when the time comes for that, um, we're just going to refresh the stream and I'll just go on the, I have it set up on the desktop there and we'll just switch over live on Twitch on the desktop to show you that portion of today's lecture. Okay, so let's start off with the name, uh, Vermont. All right, doesn't sound like there's too much going on there, but uh, if you break up the, the word Vermont into two different words, uh, the first part of the word Vermont is V-E-R, ver, and the second part of the word Vermont is mont, M-O-N-T. So, what does ver mean? Uh, well, in Latin, ver is green. Uh, you know, verde in Spanish means green. Uh, what's some other ver words? Uh, I can't think of many on top of my head. Okay, in the second part of the word, mont. Well, what does mont mean? Well, in Spanish, montaña is mountain, uh, so we have Green Mountain. And if you're wondering what the nickname of the state of Vermont is, it's the Green Mountain State. Uh, so apparently they have green some mountains. green mountains Set. there. You might just hear pop champ check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot stream elements dot com slash MRG underscore live. So yeah, if you want to check out the merch with me and Keanu, uh, you can hit that link there. Uh, so, more about Vermont. Well, uh, Vermont is uh, known to be a high taxation state. Uh, they're the least religious state in all of the states. The they have a very low Set. crime rate. Makes so much sense when you break it down. They, they have a very low crime rate. Uh, they're one of the smallest states population-wise. There's only 623,000 people in the state of Vermont, and they only have three electoral votes. Uh, one of the most famous people from Vermont, he's not really from Vermont, he's from New York, uh, but he's a senator from Vermont, is the, uh, the, the famous uh, Bernie Sanders, one of the nation's most famous politicians, the socialist uh, Democrat Bernie Sanders. Uh, I actually, you know, uh, was a fan of Bernie Sanders up until uh, this summer. Said. I think he's a decent person. I think he's an honest person, but uh, we have uh, totally different ideas about um, politics and govern governing. And so I, I, I had to see past the person. But as far as politicians go, um, he's, he's a, he seems like he's a decent person, in my opinion. Could be wrong, could be right, it could be wrong. Uh, so we covered Vermont's a very small state. Uh, there's only 600,000 people. The capital of Vermont is the smallest state capital in all of the United States. Montpelier, spelled M-O-N-T-P-E-L-I-E-R, Montpelier, one word, uh, has a population of 7,477. That's tiny. I've had, I've had gatherings, not, not that big, but, <laughs> uh, but that's, that's a small concert venue, 7,000 people. Granted, uh, they do say the capital Montpelier, um, they, it, it goes up to 20,000 Monday through Friday because uh, many people work there. Uh, the thing is about Vermont, there's a lot of small towns. There's a lot of wooden bridges from the 1800s and there's a lot of small towns. I'll change the graphic here, you know, to make it a little bit more exciting. So, uh, some more things about Vermont. Uh, some of the top industries are Tourism. They have over 14 million tourists annually. Uh, a lot of people on the East Coast. Said, do they have covered bridges? Yes, they have more covered bridges than anywhere else in uh, the United States. They have over 100 uh, wooden bridges from the 1800s. And I'll show you a lot of pictures of that. We're going over the basics, Mrs. J. <laughs> All right. No, seriously, I was just kidding. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll show you a bunch of bridges here coming up here. Um, but uh, some of the top agri industries in uh, Vermont is, number one is tourism. They're, they're a top tourism state because of those bridges and because of their uh, fall colors. Uh, they also have really great maple trees. Uh, I was just kidding around, uh, Mrs. J. I hope you uh, weren't, weren't that taken seriously. But um, but some more of the uh, pop top industries in the state of Vermont is uh, agriculture, MRSJ uh, Mermaid. Energy said, and manufacturing. I know, silly long. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Um, 
agriculture, tech, energy, and manufacturing. The top agricultural products Country man in said, Vermont if you is think paying. about it, covered bridges for the time were ingenious. Didn't have to have heavy equipment and plows on the bridge to tear it up. Uh, yeah, and they seem pretty well sturdy, too. Uh, they're me, uh, me regular uh, roads, and uh, from what I, uh, the research I've done, uh, they're, you know, part of the uh, landscape and some of the uh, charm. Not um, said, like I said, uh, it's a it's very small state. It's one of the least the populous states. Uh, but it is one of the oldest Gearbox states. If you're wondering... Here, let me turn that down. Country it, man said, kept the snow off. Snow. It's the snowiest state in the United States as well. Speaking of snow, it's the snowiest state in the United States. It's not the coldest state in the United States, but it's the snowiest state. Um, it's a landlocked state. It doesn't touch uh, the ocean, uh, Vermont, but it does have uh, one of the largest lakes in the United States, Lake Champlier. Am I pronouncing that correctly, countryman? And I didn't take a note of this. This is from personal just knowledge. I didn't research this. But I, I believe Lake Champlier is in Vermont. Is that accurate, countryman? Countryman said, yes, it is. JP has the most snowfall <laughs> in the Appalachian Mountains, even more than Mount Washington. Well, everybody knows that. <laughs> Stream Elements said, New merch is here, Pog Champ. Check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot stream elements dot com slash MRG underscore live. Okay, continue. Country man said, and yeah, Lake Champlain. Lake Champlain is the place. Okay. Um, so agriculture. Hay is the most popular um, Country man crop. Country man said, all of this in the Champlain has a lot of monster in it too long. Uh, that's because they, they, they have a lot of dairy and a lot of uh, cheese and a lot of livestock. Um, Vermont, uh, Ben and Jerry's, uh, is originated Country in Vermont. Countryman said, it's pronounced Champlain. Champlain, okay. Um, so, uh, Ben and Jerry's, uh, like many of the, uh, northeastern states, a lot of their agriculture has to do with dairy and livestock because it gets cold up there. Not many things grow up there. Uh, Vermont is, leads the nation in, uh, maple syrup production, and they have a lot of different... Uh, food products. There's so many different foods. We'll get to that later in the lecture. Some of the few crops that grow there are apples. There's lots of heirloom apples there. Corn. Uh, they actually pickle the corn at some places there. And pickled eggs are also very common there. Apparently in Vermont, they like to uh, can and pickle many things. And potatoes actually grow good there as well. Um, they have some of the top ski resorts in the United States, and that goes for summer and winter. Um, I mentioned they're very low crime. They're the least religious state, uh, as far as like most surveys go. They're, uh, they're the least religious states. A lot of people drive Subarus there. Uh, there's uh, bumper stickers. A lot of people put uh, bumper stickers on their car there, like it's the 1980s. Uh, what else? Um, it's a very uh, liberal state. Uh, you know, they, they're one of the highest tax states. Uh, they're the largest producer of maple syrup. Uh, one interesting fact about Vermont is they actually are the only state, other, uh, they're one of the only five states that used to be their own country. Uh, now, class, here, I'll put up a, a nice uh, wooden bridge up here in the corner. So, class, can any of you name the other three states that used to be their own country? And I'll give you a hint, Mr. G is from two of them. So we're learning about Vermont. I'll go ahead and show you on the map there. Here's a good image of Vermont. So the other states that used to be their own country, besides Vermont, I was surprised to learn that. Uh, but Texas used to be a sovereign nation for about 20 years in the 1800s. Uh, Hawaii, obviously, was a sovereign country uh, for many years, for uh, uh, hundreds of years, actually. And uh, California also used to be its own country as well. Uh, the reason Vermont was its own country is an interesting story. Um, Vermont is the 14th state in the, in the, added to the United States. So if you're wondering if Vermont was an original 13 colony, you know, I mean, who, who, who doesn't wonder that, right? I mean, that keeps me up at night. I lay there thinking, was Vermont an original 13th colony? I don't know, you know, <laughs> but no, uh, seriously, that doesn't keep me up at night. <laughs> Um, seriously, Vermont, 
<clears throat> the story about how Vermont is was its own country. Uh, well, uh, Vermont has always had a small population. Um, and back in the time of the Continental Congress, uh, many of the delegates did not feel uh, that Vermont justified having its own uh, state. They considered it a uh, territory, maybe of New Hampshire. Um, so uh, many people in Vermont uh, were rightfully upset that they weren't allowed uh, to be the 14th colony. Um, they actually uh, declared itself separate uh, from England before the, any of the 13 colonies, but the Continental Congress in the United States just refused to recognize it. So uh, uh, that really pissed off a lot of people in Vermont. Uh, so they were like, you know, F you guys, we'll, we'll just be our own country. And that went on for about 14 years uh, until uh, they were finally invited uh, to be the 14th state in the United States Countryman after the Constitution says, was already ratified. Ethan Allen. So, Countryman, uh, you can back me up on this story. I, I, I'm saying it, um, you know, my own recollection. I, mean, I know the basic facts are correct. I think it was 14, 15 years that they were their own country. So, Countryman uh, said, yeah, Ethan Allen headed it. Yeah. Nybot said, Help Mr. G with a donation through Stream Elements, HTTPS, okay, so, streamelements.com, um, <laughs> slash MRG underscore live, slash tip. Vermont's one of the most educated states in the United Said, States. They have very the good schools here, there. Jam, check it uh, out. The colleges, um, they're surprisingly for a state com, with such a small population. Live. They do have many universities and colleges Said, to choose from. You're all right. Thank you, Countryman. Thanks. Uh, the largest... Uh, University in the state of Vermont is the University of Vermont, which has about 12,000 students. Um, like other uh, New England states, they also have a uh, smaller liberal college, you know, uh, Middlebury College is an example, uh, which has, you know, about a few thousand students. Um, what else? Uh, we mentioned the capital is the smallest capital in the United States, Mount, Piel Mount, Mount Pelier. Uh, you know, very small population, less than 10,000. Uh, the largest city in the state of Vermont is Burlington, Vermont, uh, which has a population of about 50,000. Uh, they, you know, which is a, um, you know, it's a small city, but, uh, you know, so if you look at it, uh, where are the other 623,000 people? You know, we have 10,000 in Mount Pelier and 50,000 in Burlington. So uh, we're, we need 500, we need half a million more people. What does that tell you, class? Well, what that tells me is in that little state of Vermont, we have many small towns. We have half a million people living up there, but it's really uh, small uh, towns. And you would think that people would be crammed together, but they're not. It's one of the most sparsely populated states. It's the second most sparsely populated state, only other than Alaska. Alaska has one person uh, per every square mile. I don't know what the numbers is for Vermont, but I know they're one of the most sparsely populated states, um, which, you know, has a lot of, uh, which I found very Set. interesting considering they're on the Consent East Coast, Mr. and two thirds of the United Hawaii. States lives on the Box East Coast. Honolulu, Hawaii, 96823. To put that in perspective, when I was living in Texas, you know, a drive from Austin to San Antonio would take about an hour and a half. A drive from San Antonio to Houston would take a few hours. Now, when you're on the East Coast, everything is so crammed together. So I, I don't know, we can ask Google here, but how long do you think it takes to get like from uh, downtown, uh, from uh, the Cap Mount Pelier, Vermont to uh, New York City? And remember, Vermont's all the way up on the uh, East Coast. So let's, let's ask Google. Hey Google, volume 10. Hey Google. How long does it take to get from Mount Pelier, Vermont, to Times Square, New York? Driving from Mount Pelier to Times Square will take you four hours and fifty-nine minutes. So, so four hours and fifty-nine minutes, or what, what's a what's an even closer uh, landmark? Uh, Boston Garden. How about that? Hey Google, how long does it take uh, to drive from Burlington, Vermont, to Boston Garden? With light traffic, it will take you three hours and 22 minutes to drive from Burlington to Boston Madison Square Garden Club. You can see the full route in your phone. 
So just to, from Boston to there, it takes three hours. The point I'm trying to make is... Okay, con okay Countryman says it's a little, little bit longer. But the, the overall point I'm trying to make is, um, you know, when, when I grew up in Texas and, and here in Hawaii, where everything, you know, takes a long time to get from little city to little city. And if Vermont's one of the most sparsely populated places in the United States, and um, it, it's only, uh, you know, five hours, let's say four or five hours uh, to get from there to like New York or to Boston Gardens or any of those major East Coast places, Washington, D.C., whatever, um, that tells you that uh, in Vermont, there's lots of small towns and people live a uh, very sparsely populated. Now, Vermont's nickname is the Green Mountain State. One of the most interesting facts that I learned about Vermont is it's 78% covered forest, more than any other state. Country man, um, said, but you're right, it's all in the same neighborhood. I get what you're saying. Exactly, so that's a good way to put it. It's in the same neighborhood. And like from my perspective, living in Texas and in Hawaii, or in California, where, you know, from, uh, you know, L.A. to New York takes, uh, I mean, from San Francisco to L.A. takes, you know, a day. But uh, like I said, uh, the, the, one of the most interesting things about Vermont, it, th this is very interesting to me. Vermont is definitely the most interesting state on the East Coast. Uh, it's one of the only states I wouldn't mind visiting, but you know you have to go through the other states to get there, so probably not going to do that. Um, but I like, the, uh, I like the fact that it's 72% covered with forest. And get this, in the 1800s, it was only 32% covered with forest. So most of the time, you know, they say the forests are disappearing. You know, in Brazil, the rainforest is being ripped up by McDonald's so they can have cows graze and fuck up the land, and then they can, you know, make the hamburgers. But um, it's the opposite. In Vermont, apparently, in the 1800s, it was only 30% covered with forest. So since that time, since, you know, uh, people started living there, they've actually planted trees, and uh, now it's over 70% covered with forest. And I don't know, that, that just sounds really interesting. I found that, uh, that really uh, enlightening. Um, so just over some of uh, the basics about Vermont, like I said, it's mainly forested. It has lots of skiing, lots of hiking trails. I'm pretty sure the Appalachian Trail goes through there. Uh, there's over 100, 100 wooden bridges from the 1800s. And uh, some of the basics, the state bird of Vermont is the hermit thrush, the state flowers, the red clover. The state tree is the sugar maple, the maple tree. There's many different maple trees. The sugar maple, that's the tree, the maple tree that you want, that you can get the delicious syrup from. So I remember um, driving through different places and there are many different maple trees. There's maple trees in Oregon, there's maple trees in Washington, but those aren't the kind of maple trees that you get the uh, this delicious syrup from. From those, you need the sugar maple trees, and those are the big, bright red trees. I'll show you a picture in a second. Um, the state insect of Vermont is the honeybee, and that goes along with the flower of the red clover because the fa favorite flower of the western honeybee is the red clover. All right, so uh, that's it for this portion. Uh, now we're gonna start the uh, slideshow. Um, I'll intervene here and there. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll uh, do some uh, fun facts about Vermont, and then I will show you some beautiful bridges, some beautiful landscapes. They have a wonderful state capital, and also show you uh, some of their uh, lovely foods as well. Uh, one more fun thing about Vermont is there's no billboards there. Uh, similar to Hawaii, uh, billboards are, are outlawed. You're not allowed to put a billboard on the side of the road. And let me tell you, it makes uh, the scenic area much more aesthetic to not see an advertisement for marble or whatever. They, I don't know, I haven't seen billboards in so long. But, um, yeah. All right, um, shout out to uh, The Sound of Music. It's one of my friend's favorite movies. And uh, the Von Trapp family uh, from the wonderful film The Sound of Music uh, actually relocated in Vermont. Uh, I've been reading up about the Von Trapp family, and they had a, such a great, interesting uh, existence. Uh, while they were in Europe, they actually ran into Hitler at a restaurant and uh, were very cordial with him. Um, also, uh, uh, the Hitler actually took, after they had migrated to the United States, to Vermont, 
uh, Hitler actually uh, made residence in the famous von Trapp house located uh, in Europe. So that's actually where Hitler lived, and it's just a coincidence. Also, of course, the movie has Nazis in it, and uh, they ran into Hitler uh, as well, like I said, at a, a German restaurant when they were escaping to Vermont. All right, so uh, with that being said <laughs> about the Von Trapp family, shout out to, uh, to uh, Judy Dench. And, um, and yeah, let me go ahead and uh, start the uh, presentation. So the state flag of Vermont. Uh, welcome to Vermont, by the way, guys. Hey, Google, play Mozart. Playing Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Pandora. Hey, Google, volume five. So, some basic facts about Vermont. Uh, Sorry, something went wrong. When you're ready, give it a Hey, Google. Try. Play Bach. The population of Vermont is 588,000. Like I said, about half a million. It's up to over 600,000 now. Uh, the capital city is Montpelier. Sorry, I didn't understand. Hey, Google, just be quiet, please. Uh, the nickname is the Green Mountain State. And the climate ranges from 17 degrees all the way up to 71 degrees. Now, uh, some more fun facts about Vermont. Um, Vermont is a um, known for its snow, and uh, it's 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 like I said, it's one of the least populous states. Uh, the Green Mountain Boys was founded in the Vermont Republic. Um, there are no skyscrapers in Vermont, and up until 1996, there weren't any Walmarts either. The name of Vermont has French origins. 77% of Vermont is covered with trees. Lake Champlain was once a sea. Fort St. Anne was the first European settlement in Vermont. Vermont. Ethan Allen was a Green Mountain boy. Ethan Allen was mentioned by Country Boy earlier. Uh, Vermont birthed two presidents, one of which is Calvin Coolidge, uh, the second of which is... I forget, the guy with the mustache. Um, Vermont is the leading producer of maple syrup, and Burton Snowboards is also based in Vermont. So, some more quick fun facts about Vermont. Uh, Vermont was the first state to abolish slavery. They've always been very progressive. Uh, two tribes are native to Vermont. Lake Champlain was a great lake, but only for a few weeks. Vermont has the highest ratio of cows to people in the United States. Ben and Jerry's ice cream hails from Vermont. Vermont high school students can compete in snowboarding. Vermont outlawed billboards. Lake Champlain has its own Loch Ness Monster. And uh, there's actually some credence to that story uh, because not only people in recent times have seen this Loch Ness Monster, uh, but also uh, it's been spotted by native tribes as well. For, and there's stories of it by the, native, the two native tribes that inhabited the area of Vermont. So, uh, like I said, it was the first to abolish set slavery. Uh, it's the second least populous of the 50th state, first being Alaska. Um, what else? Well, the state flower is the red clover, the state animal is the Morgan horse, and the state bird is the hermit thrush. Some more fun facts about Vermont. The state motto is freedom and unity. And uh, Vermont was the first state to, int to introduce civil unions. They were doing it before everybody else was. Uh, lake Champlain, the well-known lake in the state of Vermont, is the sixth largest lake in Vermont. And, uh, like I said, Burlington is the largest city in the state of Vermont. So just a couple more fun facts here. Uh, we were asked about how many covered bridges there are. Uh, Vermont is home to over 106 covered bridges. One of the state's oldest covered bridges is known as the Pulp Mill Bridge. Uh, which is a, a bridge that is famous in many movies, including, if I'm not mistaken, the movie Funny Farm uh, with Chevy Chase. Said, that's too cool. Mm -hmm. So, some more fun things about, uh, just a couple more uh, random facts. Uh, like we said, it's the first state after the 13th colony. Uh, Montepler is the only U.S. state capital without a McDonald's. From what I understand, there are not many McDonald's in Vermont, which I, I like that idea a lot. 
the world has too many McDonald's. And until 1996, like I said, Vermont was the only state without a Walmart. Countryman said that not only the industrial towns. Hmm. That's cool. So uh, a couple mo uh, more more um, fun Country facts man. about Vermont. Said, probably six or seven in the entire state. No joke. Wow, interesting. So, uh, the origin of Vermont is the Green Mountain State. Like I said, Vera means green and Mont means mountain. Uh, Vermont actually leads the nation in granite, marble, and maple products. Uh, like I said, they have a uh, strong agricultural uh, and strong dairy uh, uh, industry. Um, also, they have lots of tech, energy, Country and manufacturing. Said, the U.S. has no need for a home that needs fast food up there. That's good. It's see, uh, yes, Vermont's also, I should point out, one of the most uh, educated states in the United States. Uh, so they do have a lot of intelligent people there, and I would assume that a lot of intelligent people do not eat fast food. Okay, uh, continuing. In order to preserve the state's natural beauty, billboards are completely banned in the state of Vermont and have been for over 45 years. Like I said, similar to Hawaii, Hawaii has that, own, that a similar... Uh, law where there are not any billboards anywhere, which really uh, is really is a great thing. So we thought of, talked about industries of Vermont, maple syrup. Uh, maple syrup is, uh, that's what Vermont is known for. Some other things that is produced, that are produced in Vermont are teddy bears. They have many different kinds of cheese. Arts and crafts are popular in Vermont. Ice cream, uh, like I said, dairy is popular. Ben and Jerry's uh, originated in Burlington, Vermont. Chocolate and coffee, glassware and pewter, granite and marble and forestry products. So, uh, this image 